How's it going everyone, Tyson Game here, and welcome back to my Pokemon Radical Red Randomized Nuzlocke. Last time on, we managed to make our way up through Nugget Bridge and all the way to Bill's house, dealing with some very stressful battles, because the Nugget Bridge trainers were really no joke. They had some really good teams, and I unfortunately lost one of my Pokemon, Queen, which was going to be my future Serena, to the Team Rocket Grunt that was over there. But I mean, we're still moving on, we're ready to take on Misty, because in between uh, recording sessions, I did do a grinding session, grinding up my other team members that I think will be useful for the battle against Misty. So I think the team moving forward, or at least the team for the, the Misty battle, is going to be this. Normally, I would keep my starter, which is obviously Iron Man, on the squad at all times. But since we're going in against Misty, who is obviously a Water-type Gym Trainer, I don't really see much use in keeping Iron Man al around, especially since he's going to be kind of a liability. I mean, he could burn some things, especially since I have the sun up, thanks to Akai. But I don't want to run the risk of losing him. Because that would be insanely bad if I lost him. Yeah, it would be bad if I lost him. Because right, because for the normal Nuzlocke, he's kind of carrying me. Alright, the nature change. Um, where? Make you up in special defense so, so you can at least take somewhat of a hit. Cool, cool, cool. And then, before I forget, is there any TMs that I can teach them? Um, I can teach Low Swoop where that'll be useful at least, for some speed control. I will forget Bide. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I think this is gonna be the team that I use. Again, I'm nervous going into this battle, because I, cause I know from watching streamers, Misty is an incredibly tough battle. I don't exactly remember what she all has. I know she has a Floatzel, and then obviously I know she has her Stormy still. Eternal can probably 1v1 the Stormy pretty easily, but I guess I'll have to use Delmise for the Floatzel, but I don't know what the rest of her team is, which is the major issue. But I guess enough lollygagging, let's get right into it obviously if you guys like what you see in today's video make sure you hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already because i am trying to hit 1000 subscribers for the end of 2023 and your subscription will be greatly appreciated not to mention since you guys are you know come back here on the daily anyways to watch my content you might as well subscribe you might as well Might as well. And comment question of the day. For those of you who've either played through Radical Red or have seen content on Radical Red, who is the most difficult gym leader? Like, what's the hardest fight in this game? Like, I imagine it's probably going to be one of the Elite Four members or even Giovanni, but let me know in the comments down below. So with that all said, hello Misty. How are you doing? Yes, I'm terrified of you. Oh, cool, she's they're using their uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver design for her, nice. And she has a Frogadier. Okay, that means that most likely they are going to use Rodian with him. Um, so, I, so he's definitely not going to be sticking to water. She's either going to swap out or go to Rodian. So I think my smartest move is to go for the attack. Okay, Protean Rock for Rock Tomb. And she got a crit. That sucks. So Akai is going to be benched through the rest of this fight. Alright, Beware, I need you to come in, buddy. Okay, and then we're going to use Low Sweep. Flip turn. Okay, she's just swapping out. It's not going to do a lot of damage because I am... Bulky boy, or she's a bulky girl, and she goes into Quadsire. 
One, two, baby doll eyes. Okay, um, what do I have for a quad sire? My best option would be Hakai, but I guess for now I gotta just settle for Brock. Okay, Sun's gone, so I can use Akizuka freely. That's right, she has Water Absorb. I'm gonna bulk up. I'm gonna go to... I'm gonna go to plus three and then look. Got speeds. Damn, there goes Brock. Alright, Hakai, I need you to Ice Fang. Pull Akai takes out that. Put back in the Frog of Deer. Um, yeah, I gotta go back to the Beware. Flip turn into Darmy, okay. I'm going to swap into Eternal. Okay, go through Psy Shock, that's fine. I'm gonna go for Faith Attack. Roar Beam, that's fine, we eat that. We go for another faint attack, she goes for hover. We go faint attack again. Okay, we've got her low, so I'm gonna go for shadow sneak to finish. And there is float soul. There is the float soul. I'm gonna switch into Delmise, flip turn that's fine, she goes back into Bogadir. I'm just gonna Giga Drain. Oh, okay, she's just using flip turns. That means she doesn't have anything for Delmice from here on out. Giga Drain that, that's that. And Giga Drain Brugadier for the win. Cool, cool, cool. Unfortunately, we did lose Brock, which definitely sucks big time. Because Brock was carrying his weight big time, but I mean... Because, I mean, moving forward, what you... That sucks. He was doing a lot of work. But, I mean, hey, we beat Misty. We're moving on. Brock, thank you for putting in the work. You deserve a long rest, buddy. Okay. Rapalock, you can go back there. And I will bring Hippowdon onto the squad for now over... I'm going to put him on over Beware, because I feel like Delmize is going to be pretty useful yet. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, cut, yeah, I feel like Delmise is going to be pretty useful for a while yet. So for now, let's switch over to Iron Man, because now we can freely go to Vermilion City and get a couple encounters, because we get Rite of Vermilion, and we also get, yeah, because we also get the, um, the um, Diglett's Cave encounter, too. So yeah, it sucks that I lost Brock. It sucks. Give me all the Pokeballs you can. And I will get some potions. I mean, potions aren't overly useful in this game because you can't use them in every battle. But they'll still be useful for regular trainer battles and when I go to... Um, when I go, when I go to uh, catch Pokemon. So I think, since I'm at eight, only 8 minutes, I already beat Misty. I think for the rest of this episode, I think what I'm going to do is train over to the right of Vermilion, and then save the SSN for next episode. Wait, I also gotta check what the new level cap is, but since we've beat a boss, I imagine we get a new level cap. Which would be pretty major if we get a good upgrade. Can't get an encounter here, because we unfortunately already got one, which was the Hippowdon. Which means again, Hippowdon is good, but I need another Rock-type. Not, not Rock-type, uh, Ground-type. Uh, Phoebus, what's happening? You're Water and Ground, so I will go into Peter. Go for the Razor Leaf, and cool, cool, cool. Vermilion City, hello, stop at the Pokemon Center, and I think we'll first go straight to Diglett's Cave. Because depending on what we get there, I might add it to the team, especially if it's a good ground type. But we will have to wait and see. 
All right, let's see what we got here. Ooh. The ice type Gar Darmanitan. I forget what where this one is from. No, I know where it's from. It's from Galar. Right, because I couldn't remember if Darmanitan got his ice typing in Alola or Galar, but I remember now it is indeed Galar. I'm gonna will the wisp it. Does it get some status on it? I'm just gonna chuck some Pokeballs at it. And we got it. Cool, cool, cool. Learn big. Good, good, good. Uh, I'm gonna nickname you Galar. The question mark, because I'm not 100% certain that you are from the Galar region. I think you are, because only uh, Ninetales and Sandslash got their ice type forms in Alola. Zarmanitan got it in the Galar region. But all in all, a really good first encounter over there. Alright, let's see what we can get here. That is species, because I have a ferret. Come on, so I'm thinking. Oh, hi Mew. How are you doing? I'm going to Willow Wisp you. Okay, Lumberry, I'm going to Willow Wisp you again. But cool, we already got Mew. Let's see if we can catch this thing, because this would be a fantastic encounter. Come on, Mew. Okay, and you have Shed Skin. Come on, Mew, you're supposed to have a really good catch rate. Hmm. I mean, it's good that it has Shed Skin and Reflect Type, so it's now a Fire Type, and I can no longer earn it. And cool, we got Mew. Incinerate. I will learn that since it's a stronger version of Ember. Mew, I will nickname you Vinny. Your original 151. His favorite Pokemon is a Mew. That was a good encounter. Okay, we might have lost Brock. We did get some pretty snapped encounters. Galar, what is your no guard? Ooh. Okay, this is good and bad because no guard allows me to land all of, all of my moves, but I'm pretty sure it also allow, allows my opponent to land all of their moves. But still, regardless, that is a fantastic encounter. And then Mew, yeah, you obviously have Shed Skin. Yeah, because I can reflect type into one of Surge's electric types, that would be incredible. That would be absolutely fantastic. I think for the time being, I will leave my team the same, and then worry about changing out my team once I go to take on Surge. So for now, let's just take down all the trainers over here to train up the team. Once I do that, I think I will call it an episode, and you have a Politoed, sir. And Gnosis, nice. Hello, Ready Rock. Okay, we go into Delmise. Take a drain, which should take off Ready Rock pretty easily. Nope. I'm surprised this normal trainers are swapping on as much as they do. At least the uh, uh, sleep clause is in effect for all battles, it looks like, because she didn't try to go for Gnosis again. Go for a water gun, and that's that. You know, initially I wasn't really excited for this Delmise, but it's pretty didn't work. Which is what I need. Diglet, that's fine. One Mystic Fire. Could be more than enough to take it out. Senta Scourge. I will go into Delmise. Oh wait, this thing gets pounced. I need to go into Hakai. And go for a Flight. Okay, that was almost 
Yeah, I almost lost a Kai. Nice. Good job, me. Firestone, if I ever get a revolution. Soft, ooh, soft sand. That's actually great. I can give that out on. He definitely is going to need that because he's going to be carrying us hard through Surge's battle. Work up. That's another good TM. Yeah, honestly, I. Yeah, because I'm going to have to obviously swap off Akai when I go into the Surge battle. Hello and Raichu. Hello there, good sir. You are yet on the bolt, which is fine. Take down. No, I will not learn that. Keybass, I'll go right into Peter, and then Razor Beef. Coco Cool, um, Pokevile. i head back to Pokemon Center pretty quick. And, oh, that's Whitney. I am definitely not battling her. Nope, nope, nope. If I don't gotta battle her, I definitely will not. Fido, that's fine. You don't have a little big fight, so you're immune to Fire Moves. And Incinerate. Yes, give me all the levels. I need them, big time. Okay, tomorrow, I'm just gonna miss it fire. I'm gonna need my last Book of Vile. I'm actually gonna turn on the Repel just so I don't get interrupted by Pokemon here. Nimble Incinerate. Slowking. I will go to Eternal. Make attack. And then Shadow Sneak. Cool, cool, cool. Battle you. Oh, you have your own Delmai. So you're grass and water, but you're a special attacker, so Mystic Fire, hopefully get the drop. You do. And Nightshade. Finish off. You know, I gotta remember that I actually have Nightshade on Iron Man, so I can actually use it to catch Pokemon. Grapple Walk, hello Brock, I'm sorry I let you down, but I gotta swap off Delmise. Go for Giga Train. Weird Ear, hello there sir, it's good to see you. Um, go to Eternal, go for Paint Attack. Cool. I will not battle you yet. I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center, fill up my Pokevile, and heal everyone. We will continue onwards. Again, I'm not gonna be doing the SS and just yet, because I know I'm not ready for any potential boss battles that are on there. That's mentioned obviously the rival battle. Which I know Brendan's in this game, so I it might be him, but I imagine it would still be blue over there. Another Weta, I'm gonna Mystic Fire. Seeing, but I'm gonna swap out because we do have. We do have Sleep Claws. Battle of you, Wigglytuff. Hello, Wigglytuff. I know you are annoying. Boldor, definitely swapping out to Delmys. And then Big Drain. Lava Plume. Um, no, I will not learn Lava Plume. It'd probably be pretty useful for in a double battle setting, but... Obviously I'm not going to risk that, because that would obviously hurt my entire team, not just the opponents. Okay, is there anyone else that I haven't battled yet? There's no way I battle all the trainers. I'm not doing Whitney. I know I need levels and XP, but I am for sure not doing Whitney. Well, um, I guess that for now I could go to the SSN and just do the normal trainers, which is what I think I'm going to do. Yeah, I think I'm going to start the SSN, but just do the normal trainers. I'm not going anywhere near the um, boss, not boss battle, the rival battle area. Okay, I remember seeing from a Shady Penguin's livestream that that is a boss battle there, so I'm not doing that. Hello, Dodrio. 
Okay, your water and uh, not water, fire and ground. So one water, one water gun should be more than enough for you, good sir. And go for Giga Drain. Aqua Fang. Okay, this has to be a Radical Red exclusive move because I don't think. Well, Aqua Fang might be a might be a new move because obviously I'm not fully adept with all new moves in Gen Nine. That doesn't seem like it's an actual move. But I mean, hey, I will definitely take it. Yes, rest, thank you. Super cool. Nimble, I will swap over into Iron Man for you. And incinerate. Space of fire, cool, cool, cool. Sucker punch. Um, I mean, I already have Shadow Sneak. 70 base power level versus 40. I will forget Hypnosis for now. I mean, Hypnosis is good, but since it's so such low accuracy, I'm never going to hit it. Especially when I need to hit it the most. Super Potion, that's fine. Oddish, I'm going to, yeah, have to swap out to Iron Man. Sludge, that's... Oof. Sand Tomb. Yeah, I'll get some residual damage with that. That'll be useful getting residual Graveler. I will swap out to Delmise. Baldo, that's fine, with a Giga Drain. Why not? Um... Go to okay, yep, there there it is. Going to Leer. Leer. I'm just gonna leer it all the way down to minus six. Okay, Destiny Bonds, so I have to be careful. Okay, now I can safely bite it. Anchor shot. That's its signature move. I will learn that over Whirlpool. Oh wait, Fishing Guru, that's right. I, I didn't get my Fishing Encounter here yet. I do still have one more encounter I can get. I am my Fishing. That's right, because I can get the old rod here. I almost completely forget about that. I mean, realistically, whenever I go through here, I never fish. I actually rarely ever use the rods in my Nuzlocks, even though I probably should. Yeah, there's no place to fish back in, um, whatchamacallit, the Cerulean. Good rod? Wait, why are we getting the good rod here? I mean, I'm not complaining, because obviously the good rod is much better, but... Huh. That is... Ooh, I gotta go to Pokemon Center. That is insanely weird for getting that here instead of the old rod, I guess. It's just a quality of life update for this game or something? Okay, and then we're going to swap to Iron Man. We're going to go straight over here and hope we get something good. I would love another ground type game. I really need another, another ground type. We get a... Okay, Alolan Grimer. That's not terrible. It's also not good. I mean, Alolan Grimer and Alolan Muck are bulky at least, so they're pretty kind of useful, I guess. I'll name you Bolt. Okay, we got... Okay, not terrible. What else could I have gotten now? I'm gonna hit the good rod and just fish up this, like, massive legendary. I'm gonna let the fish up Arceus or something. Well, nope. uh... Flurry and Zigzagoon, so you know what? I'm kind of happy with that. Hello, Infernape. Uh, I don't think there's a place I can... Fish in Cerulean. I just want to double check real quick though. Can I. If this fence wasn't here, I could. Yeah, there's no place for me to get an encounter in Cerulean, unfortunately. And I already got my encounter. I could get a fishing encounter in. 
in um, Pallet Town. Yeah, because I already got an encounter here and an encounter here because they added grass. So I could go to Pallet Town and get a fishing encounter here at least. Oh, wait, I actually get a couple encounters here. And I think I will do just that. And I will do just that. Ooh, the teeny. Hello. Unfortunately, with the level cap, I won't be able to get you to Dragonite for a while yet. So this is obviously a good encounter for later. And it has Dragon Rage already. Please stay in the ball, thank you. Welcome back to the squad, Spyro. Do I, do I get Dragonite in every Nuzlocke I do, basically? Pretty much, because I had him and I had him in red. I think, yeah, Spyro is probably one of, one of the most reoccurring Pokemon I get. But hey, I will definitely take that. I would, you know, much rather prefer if he was an, actually a Dragonite, but again, we'll take what we can get. It's cool, they opened up this area right away. Wait, um, before I do that though, how far down does Route 21 go? How far down does Route 21 go? Is that the entire... That is the entire way down to Cinnabar Isle, it's like... I might as well get my encounter here while I can. Might as well. I mean, it'll suck that I won't be able to get one later when I go to Cinder Island, but, you know, might as well. How am I get any... I have the infant repel on still. Okay, something good. Uh, Kecleon, I'll take it. It's another Pokemon, at least. It is another Pokemon, so that should be all the encounters I can get now. Yeah, because I can't fish there. I already got one here with fishing. There was grass here I got. Wait, I, I could go over to Route 123, but wait, no, I can't go that far because I need up to uh, Koga's badge in order to get to the surf area for encounters here, so I can't do that. I already did Diglett's Cave. I already got one in Viridian Forest. All through here, all through here. I can't go here yet because I need cuts. So yeah, I think I got all the encounters I can, which I mean, pretty decent ones. Okay, let me check out Grimer. Quick Feats has a status condition. Okay, pretty good. Anger Shell. I wish you could keep this when you were when you're a Dragonite because this ability on Dragonite, you're below 50 uh, HP and he gets basically an um a uh, uh, um much more a shell smash boost would be absolutely fantastic and then Kakuleon, Flash Fire. So when I get to Blaine's gym, you'll be useful. But yeah, um. Okay, we are at the 30 minute mark now for the recording, so I think that's going to do it for today's episode. Next time we'll head to the SSN, take down all the boss trainers there, and then the rival battle get cut, and then head on over to Rock Tunnel. I don't think I'll be taking on Surge's gym next episode at all, because I want to get as many encounters as I can get, and kind of put together a good team for Surge. Yeah, so anyways, with that all said, thank you guys so very much for watching all the way to the end of the episode. It means the world to me that you guys watched. I hope you have enjoyed. And with that all said, see you all the next time. Peace.